Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt. Today I'm going to teach you how to install KitKat on the Note 3. A few things to keep in mind is once we upgrade to KitKat, you're not going to be able to go back to Jelly Bean. There's a way to do it with a custom kernel, but you'll have to search for that on your own. So you're going to need a few things. You're going to need CF Auto Root, Odin, a special version of Recovery, uh, the actual ROM, and the KitKat external SD card fix. So the first thing you're going to do is extract Odin to a folder, which I already did. And we're going to open Odin. Now you're going to have to go and put your phone into download mode. Okay. So we got to put our phone in download mode. We're going to hold volume down, the middle button, and power. Let go of power. And we're going to see custom OS, blah, 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 critical problems, volume up to continue. And now we're going to be in download mode. Now we're going to have to open up the folder with the uh, ROM and you're going to extract it. Once it's extracted, you're going to go into your Odin, make sure that you're connected via the COM, make sure auto reboot set. Make sure F reset time is set and everything else is unchecked. And under the AP, we're going to put our ROM. It's going to take a few minutes. Now, once you have this set up exactly like this, two check boxes connected to COM. AP, which your file that you downloaded, you're going to click start. At the end of your Odin flash, it'll say pass, hopefully not fail, and we'll see that the Note 3 starts to reboot. Uh, yeah, it says recovery booting on the top. Uh, this is going to take a few minutes also, uh, between 5 and 6, so you just you just have to be patient. If you get stuck on the recovery screen, we're going to hold volume down, the middle button, and power. And we're going to try the reflash again. Alright, so as you can see, just reflashing. If you get stuck up, it's not a big deal. Alright, so we'll be greeted with this Android's upgrading screen. After this is finished optimizing. 205 applications. So now we're we've booted in the Android. We're going to hold the power button. We're going to power off once again. We're going to go to download mode, volume down, middle button, power. It's 
see as you feel the vibrate, let go of the power button. Volume up to continue. We're going to go to our folder and flash our auto root. Extract the file. AP. Auto root. Start. Little red Android indicates that it's being root rooted. It's a little script. We're going to power down once more. Now again, we're going to hold volume down, the middle button. Hold power until the screen comes on. Let go of the power button. Volume up to continue. Okay, so now that we're back in download mode, we're going to select AP. I'm going to go up one folder to where my recovery is. Double select it. And this is going to flash touch recovery. Now we're going to wait for the phone to cycle one more time. We have to copy our T-Mobile KK uh, external SD card fix to the phone. If it doesn't show up, you might have to unplug and plug the phone back in. There we go. The phone, in the root of the phone, paste your zip file. And now we're going to reboot into recovery. Power off. volume up this time instead of down. The middle button. Once we're in recovery, we're going to select install, scroll all the way down to your SD card fix, select it, swipe to the right to confirm your flash, And now you'll be prompted to uh, use the SD card for things like images and stuff. And that's it.
Now you have your full working Kit Kat. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or run any problems, uh, you can either hit me up on Twitter or in the thread on XDA or in the comments for the video. All right.